Welcome to Autopilot. In this video demo, I'm going to build a journey that captures contacts who submit an event registration form on my website and send them a personalized SMS and email follow-up to ensure they are informed about my upcoming event. Let's get started with the Autopilot Canvas. This is where you'll build your journeys using three types of shapes, triggers, actions, and conditions. Every journey must start with a trigger. This tells us when a contact should enter this journey. It could be that they are on a specific list, like newsletter subscribers or customers, or a segment, or perhaps submitted a form on your website. Since this is the trigger we want to use to capture contacts from our website, I'm going to drag it onto the canvas now. Actions are what happen in the journey, like sending an email, updating a field, sending an internal notification to your team, and so on. Conditions control the flow of contacts through a journey. You can use them to send contacts down different pathways based on specific criteria. For example, you can send a different email to contacts that have opened a previous email to those who haven't. I'll be using this condition later in the journey, but let's start at the beginning. I've already added the form submitted trigger to the canvas, but now I need to configure it. Clicking into the shape, I need to capture my form by selecting Track New Form. This is going to take me step-by-step step through the form capture process. First, I need to give the form a name and paste the URL where my form is located. Once I've added these details, clicking Continue will start the form capture process. To add the form fields to Autopilot when a contact submits the form, select the Autopilot field for the corresponding form field. If there are any form fields that I don't want to include, I can simply leave these blank. Once I've configured my field mappings, I'll hit Continue. My form is now captured and the trigger is configured on the canvas. After contacts submit the form, I want them to receive an email with details of the event they expressed interest in. To do this, I'm going to use a send email shape. I'll simply drag the shape onto the canvas and click into it and create a new email. Autopilot has two email editors, basic and advanced. The basic editor is great for sending simple emails with that personal touch. The advanced email editor is best used to build beautiful, custom designed emails that are fully responsive. I'm going to build my email using the advanced email editor and select an autopilot template for this email to customize it with my own branding and content. At the top of the email editor, I'm going to give my email a subject line that will be attention grabbing and a contacts inbox. For that personal touch, I can use a personalization variable to include their name that I captured in my form. Now, I can customize the email. Using the drag and drop interface, I can add extra content to the email, rearrange sections, upload my own images, and update buttons with a relevant call to action. By clicking here, I can preview the email layout on the desktop and mobile devices. I can also send myself a test to see what it looks like when it arrives in a contacts inbox. I can even save this email as a template to be used in the future. When I'm completely happy with my email, I'll click Publish, and the email will be added to the Send Email shape. While I was customizing the email, my team member, George, has joined me in the journey and has added an add to list action onto the canvas. This is a great way to track contacts that have filled the form out and registered for the event. This teamwork is made possible through Autopilot's Collaborate feature, allowing my team and I to work in the same journey from anywhere. Next, I want to add a follow-up email for contacts that haven't opened my first email. I'll add a delay shape to the canvas, setting it for two days. This way, contacts will be held in the delay shape for two days, giving them enough time to open the first email. 
I can also specify the days and times I want to hold contacts and delays for. For example, if I wanted to ensure my next actions take place on business days, I can select Monday to Friday from the day and time window and between the hours of 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. When I'm happy with the delay configuration, I'll connect it to the send email shape using the on send connection. After the two day delay, I want to check if contacts have opened my first email. To do this, I'm going to use a check email status condition. To configure the shape, I'm going to select my first email from the drop down. Next, Let's drag the send email shape onto the canvas again, this time configuring it with a reminder email about the event. I've already created the reminder email, but you can easily do this by using the template we saved earlier and changing the subject line and email content. To connect my second email to my condition check, I'll hover over the arrow to activate the outcome wheel. I only want to progress contacts in my journey who haven't opened my first email, so I'm going to choose the has not opened connection. Any contacts that open my first email will be stopped in the condition as I can't progress in the journey on the has not opened connection. Now for my final touch. I want to add an SMS message to my journey. Autopilot's Twilio integration allows you to send SMS messages to your contacts from Autopilot's test account. By connecting your own Twilio account, you'll be able to send more messages from your own number and have expanded functionality, like reply pathways. I'll type out my message in the shape and use a personalization variable to give the SMS a more personal feel. Now that I've finished my journey, at the bottom of the canvas, I can hit the Publish button to make my journey live. Now that the journey is published, I'm able to keep track of its progress through Live View and Insights. In Live View, I can see exactly where my contacts are in the journey as I progress through it, and if their processing have gotten stuck or have ended their journey somewhere. In Insights, I'll be able to see how my communications are performing and how well my contacts are receiving and engaging with my content. I can see when contacts entered and left the journey, how my content is being received, and view the message timeline. I can also select a specific time frame to explore this journey's performance. This can be set to hourly, daily, weekly, and monthly by selecting one of the options here. Thanks for watching Autopilot's demo. If you want to learn more or need a bit more assistance, you can sign up for a live demo, join our Ask an Expert session, or contact our support team on live chat. 